Hi guys! I know it's been a little longer than I preferred since the last video diary, but honestly, I started rethinking and overthinking this series in general. I felt like I was starting to get a little too vulnerable with the internet, and while I know that does comfort some people, it honestly, if I'm being honest, puts me at a discomfort. Being vulnerable with the internet is not an easy thing as someone with a platform at all. Hey, stay where I put you. Because people do not like <laughs> A lot of influencers are creators so I don't know I feel like you give them a lot of ammo to be nasty towards you and I just am gonna be honest I don't think I'm mentally strong enough for that so I had to just rethink the way I wanted to do this series instead I think instead of telling my personal business or I guess my really deep dark feelings I can just talk about stuff candidly that I really want to talk about so today I really want to talk about two things I want to talk about how hard it is to make friends as an adult and I guess some tips for people going back to school from someone who's obviously been to school before. So yeah, it's your journal because we are still journaling today. Okay, let me date it. Alexa, what's the date? Today is Sunday, August 28th. Okay, anyway. Dated. That's another thing. I don't, I have a really big thing with ugly handwriting. I feel really ashamed when my handwriting feels ugly. But I don't focus on that when I journal. Honestly, a lot of my journal is scribble scrabble. <laughs> and I used to have like an, a really bad compulsivity to fix note taking because I literally couldn't handle when my notes looked ugly. And I mean, I mean, like it was bad. Like in school, we would be on the fifth slide and I'm erasing and rewriting the same sentence for the seventh time because I didn't like how I wrote it to the point where I was so behind in school. It actually academically affected me I'm not really re realizing how much until now but yeah I actually couldn't take notes because of it I used to fail tests because of it because I couldn't move on because I had to rewrite I don't know what that is but it's pretty scary um anyway I don't do that when I journal when I journal I want it to be as raw as possible so sometimes when I'm feeling bad I'm not worried about making that perfect day I just start scribbling and, like the day's getting away from me but anyway so Let's start, let me write down our itinerary. So we're gonna talk about high school and friends as an adult. Okay, let's talk about high school first because it kind of leads into the adult talk. So I do have my lotion here because I feel dry. Um, I will say, I had some tips that I would give you as a, as a person going into school, high school, whatever school, I'm gonna give you the most generic advice and I'm giving you this generic advice because honestly, generic advice sometimes when it comes to school is really the best advice. Mind you, this is coming from a very rebellious teenager that did not listen to a single thing her mother said. I was probably as bad as possible. It came after that phase of being like aggressively bullied. I just felt like I had to like fight back. I don't know, that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, I was bad and it came from trying to impress other kids so that I could fit in. I was not bad to the bone. I was not really like that. I wasn't built like that. I don't like to fight. I don't like confrontation. I don't like any of that stuff. I do not enjoy it. I do not enjoy it. It makes me feel like my chest is enclosing. It, cave it makes me feel caved in. I hate that stuff. So yeah, that, that was not my vibe, but I was pretending it was to fit in. Viewfinder needs to go away. Sorry, I'm like, I'm trying to help you my YouTube, it doesn't matter. Um, I lost my train of thought. I hate when I do that. What was I saying? Oh, I was pretending to be this bad to the bone girl when I really was not that at heart. Um, I was honestly just really scared and I wanted to fit in so bad with everybody so I did what everyone else was doing, which I think, believe is what most high schoolers do which I believe is what most high schoolers did as well. I don't think I was the only one that was trying to fit in. I think that's just something you do as a young person. You wanna fit in with your peers, especially if you've been excluded and ostracized for a majority of your life. I believe it only makes sense to wanna to fit in. However, you don't need to and it doesn't matter when you graduate at all. Um, all of the things I got bullied for no longer mattered the second I graduated. <sighs> I'm tired. I, woke, I went to sleep at 5 a.m. last night and woke up at 9. So, yeah. Haven't slept much. Thank you. Um, 
mode. Anyway, just all of that stuff doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I know this probably means nothing because it meant nothing to me when people told me this while I was in high school, but just think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it because it really doesn't. I'm telling you from someone who did it and you're there now, but I was already there. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Um, focus on your studies, man. Because of this, I didn't really care about school that much because no one, it was cool not to care about school. It was cool not to, you know, to not give a F. It was cool at the time, so that's what I did. And I failed so many subjects because of it that I was legitimately good at. Good at history, good at science, okay at math, good at English. And I failed a lot of these subjects from time to time because I wanted to impress my peers. What? Well, like failure is impressive. Like be, be so serious. I don't know, man. Kids are kids are weird. Um, what's another thing? Oh yeah, focus on school and not dating. Um, all I cared about was dating when I was that age because everyone else was dating and I was like a super lonely dweeb that no one had interest in. And I did anything, I everything to to try to get a boyfriend because that was all that seemed to matter. And again, not focused on school because my mind was elsewhere. I wasn't studying after school because I was on the phone with my boyfriend all the all when I finally got one all hours of the night, um, never studying, never doing anything important because all I cared about was dating when it doesn't matter. Dating is gonna be there forever. Academics only go so long unless you continue to go to school. Man, I really wish I could go back and just smack myself. Like, girl, such a smart young girl and I did not protect myself enough to, I guess, really live out my intelligence because I legitimately used to pretend I was stupid. I used to pretend I didn't understand things that I did. Man, I was being silly. I was being a silly, silly girl. Ah, so dumb. I'm not calling you dumb if you do this, sorry. I'm reflecting like, wow, I really would fail tests on purpose, man. <sighs> anyway. Just just take the advice that you're given right now. Understand that all of us, we've been there. I know times are different now. High school, when I graduated, I was in 2016. I know it's probably way different for you right now. So I can only give you advice. Follow it if you want. It's up to you. I will say uh, something that's super important that I really wish I followed was just try to learn about yourself and to be yourself and experiment. Again, because I wanted to fit in. I didn't experiment ever. I was scared of everything. I was scared of looking too different and things like that. And right now I've been basically drilling into my little sister's mind, she's 18, and I've been trying to make her really understand that being herself and being authentic to herself is all that really matters. Because none of these people that make fun of you, make fun of your hair, or made fun of your eyebrows today do. They don't matter once you move on from high school. They don't. And I think I did a good job because that girl experiments. She does whatever she wants with her hair. She dresses however she wants. I, funny enough, I know, I say funny enough because I don't think most people admire their younger siblings, but I really do admire my younger sibling because I think that she is who I wish I was in high school. Um, I think that she is that way because she really does listen to me and she really does understand that I've done this before. So she really listens when I, I believe she listens when I speak to her. And it seems as though she values my opinion and my thoughts. And when I speak, she seems to listen because that girl does what she wants. Like. She does her, she just shaved off her eyebrows. Like that's not something that you could have paid me to do when I was her age because I knew I would get made fun of at school. But with my little sister, she doesn't care if she does because she knows it doesn't matter. Oh, I love that girl. Um, but yeah, just, I would say have fun with high school, genuine fun, don't worry about dating, make friends. This leads me into my new point. Sorry, I'm talking with so much energy today because I'm honestly trying to distract myself from how frustrated I am with all the other stuff going on right now. I've been feeling lately. So sometimes the only way I can hush, the only way I can really do that properly is by talking with a lot of enthusiasm. It's like a weird way that I've taught myself to like fake that I feel better. I don't know, anyway, it doesn't matter. So that leads into my other point of making friends after high school. My gosh, it's so hard. I wish that I took advantage of being in the same space with so many of my peers and people my age in every single day seeing the same faces. I really should have taken advantage of that because as an adult now, I will say I guess moving around plays a pretty big role in that because 
I don't live where I went to school at, so I guess it wouldn't have really mattered, but then it would have because I think we were good enough friends. I think if the friendship was good enough, obviously we would like live near each other, whatever, who cares? You'd be talking, it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm like falling off my bed. Anyway, I wish that I took advantage of just being around so many people just like me because I'm not really in environments like that anymore as a creator or an online personality, whatever you consider me, I guess. Um, the only space that I see a lot of my peers in are brand events, and those are also all over the place. I've seen the same mutual of mine maybe twice at events. It's not always the same people. It's honestly always pretty spread out. Um, sometimes they're not diverse at all. It's getting really hard to make friends as an adult. I just, I don't know. I don't work a nine to five anymore, so I don't have a space that I see the same people every day. Um, I'm not in school anymore, so I don't have a space that I see the same people every day. I was thinking about maybe joining a class, like a language class or something. That's something, I've been teaching myself languages virtually already. So I'm thinking maybe a language class would be smart because I would see the same people, I would assume all the time. I don't know, that's how my friend is making friends right now. He takes acting classes and he's made so many friends from it and it's really, it's inspired me. I also think I'm scared as an adult to make friends. I don't know. I get really scared. I don't know what I'm scared of, but I am scared. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I, I also don't know how to make friends because I don't go out of my way to or to not befriend any specific type of person. And I mean that as in, I don't try to make friends with influencers. I also don't go out of my way not to or just anyone, I don't know, I don't really do that because, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I just, I really will try to just be friends with anyone, but I just get scared. I get scared of everything. I get scared of friendship because I've really been hurt by friends in the past also as well. So I just get really scared. Um, I get scared to get close to people. I think everyone does, I don't know gotta work on that because I need friends I need I think some people are built to be alone some people are built to be around consistent ah I love I, oh I definitely need to be around people but okay grab your journey grab your little journey journey I'm not gonna turn it the other way I learned from the last video get your journal today I'm writing in blue because I feel energetic and I feel strongly about what I'm writing about. I've been color coding to an extent. Um, like the entry before was also in blue because it was the same color because I was also full of a, I had a, a deep, I had an excessive amount of emotion in my body and falling off my bed. And I wanted to know that when I wrote, that's how I felt. So also my mom said she's gonna start journaling because of me. She said that she really likes, I guess, when I talked to her about how journaling made me feel, it made me feel really good. I think that journaling really helps with understanding why you feel how you feel and what you're feeling. I think for a long time I did not understand my emotions or what they meant and journaling really teaches me how I felt because sometimes I even look back on, my, on journal entries and say, wow, I don't know why I felt that way. It really shows you how you feel like in the moment of anger or in the moment of whatever's happening. And you do a lot of reflecting and I don't know. So my journal entry probably won't be super long today because I feel all right today. I normally don't journal unless I feel <laughs> unless I feel bad, I guess. Because I don't always need to understand why I feel happy. I always need to understand my hurt feelings. So I don't have much to journal today, but if you do, I'll still sit here and journal with you. So, okay, let's go. Let's see. I'm actually pretty surprised I feel good today because a lot has been going wrong um, digitally with my job, my work. My videos have just been like posting when I've deleted them and all sorts of like crazy stuff. It's kind of stuff like that is honestly really scary when you're an online personality because I'm always like, not too posting my stuff that I deleted. Like, I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Um, okay.
gonna read my entry to you guys today. I know I've never done that, but today's entry is, I think it shows a lot of character development, so I'm pretty proud of it and I wanna read it to you guys when I'm done. Oh, I'm falling off my bed. Oh my gosh. If I can read it, my handwriting is scrub. If you're still journaling, but it's okay if you are, but I'm gonna read you my entry today. If I can read this crap, because my gosh, what does that say? <laughs> um, okay, I feel happy today. Oh, I didn't even write today. I feel happy despite today having so many wrongs. Today, my young, my what? <laughs> my YouTube and TikTok weren't working. Normally this would, really frustrate me, but I surprisingly have a good handle on my emotions today. I would usually get hyper frustrated at little things like this and legit cry, which is true, but I'm here journaling and smiling. Proud of me, heart. I know this probably sounds dramatic, dramatic, but it's true. Honestly, little things going wrong really do get to me to an absurd extent and I've also really been working on that because I don't think that's a good thing I don't think the things should really get me to the point that they do sometimes but hey I'm only human man um, my camera legitimately died in the middle of my sentence but I was saying I'm only human I go through emotions just like everybody else and I also don't have a great handle on my emotions just like everybody else so yeah um, honestly a lot of the times little things really get me there yeah they do but I'm pretty proud of myself today because it didn't and stuff like this would really be things that send me like, oh, stuff like this would really send me over the edge. I think maybe a few months ago or a few weeks ago, honestly. So proud of me. Um, next week I wanna talk about not needing to constantly explain your actions. Yeah, obviously, unless the action needs to be explained, but I really wanna talk about that because I have that bat but I'll see you guys next video diary. Bye.